competent series about big data technologies, uh, where we can help you choose the right technology for your project. One of the most frequent engagement we get from uh, Pithin clients is uh, helping them to decide which technologies in the big data space they need to use, what is the right fit for them, and how they should best combine them and add them to the existing, uh, existing technologies that they're using. And if you look at the whole sort of uh, a whole uh, uh, ecosystem of the technologies in the big data space, we can probably sort of split them in maybe three or four groups. One of the groups is sort of Hadoop-based uh, technologies based on Apache Hadoop. Um, and another base is more sort of a traditional data warehouses, uh, which are designed to handle large amounts of data. And the NoSQL camp, which is more uh, sort of uh, been actually born as NoSQL before big data terms sort of become popular. Uh, and uh, the fourth one we could distinguish in memory solutions as well. Um, so if you talk a little bit about uh, Hadoop, Hadoop is mostly uh, used when you have, you need to process very large amounts of data, when you need to ingest a lot of information and process very large amounts of them. Most of it is sort of offline batch-like processing, but the Hadoop technologies get to the point that you can do some of the real-time processing and business analytics with them as well. Uh, the data warehouse is a more traditional uh, segment of technologies. They've been used uh, uh, for, you know, decades already, uh, and they're very, very developed and very stable, very solid. Unlike Hadoop, when a lot of the time you have a huge variety of data sources, often uh, unstructured, semi-structured, uh, the data warehouses usually ingest much more structured data sets and they require much more rigorous cleaning before they can be useful in the data warehouse and better structuring so that, so that uh, uh, the analysts working with data warehouses could then uh, you know, ask questions which are in more defined, uh, in more defined uh, business domain. As opposed to data warehouse, uh, uh, as opposed to Hadoop, when it's used more for data exploration, you know, more advanced machine learning uh, algorithms. So NoSQL is quite different. Uh, on the other hand, NoSQL is more around handling uh, applications or uh, being a backend for applications that handle small amounts of data, but very frequently, like large-scale internet applications, which require, you know thousands or uh, uh, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands even users, concurrent users accessing uh, the website, let's say, or other application at the same time. The mobile apps uh, have the same scale as well. So those are designed to deal often with very large amounts of data as well, but you don't process like terabytes of data at a time. Usually each request affects a small subset of data, you know, tens of rows, maybe even hundreds, sort of that, uh, that degree. In memory solutions, those are not like old maybe caching in memory solution like memcached that many are familiar with. Those are in memory analytical uh, solutions in the big data world. So typical examples would be Oracle Exalytics or SAP HANA. Uh, so this is maybe a new sort of new camp of technologies. They basically give you sub-second response time, still processing terabytes of data, uh, but very fast, and that's why uh, they processing it in memory as opposed to uh, uh, on disk, unlike you know data warehouse or Hadoop in this case. So that's sort of my kind of view on the big data technology space and the four camps we can sort of distinguish technologies. In.